All right, guys, here we have a 2007, I think. Yeah, 2007 Club Car DS Gas. This is a does nothing when I step on the pedal kind of golf cart. Step on a pedal, key on, forward. We got the backup alarm. Put it in forward. We have nothing. We don't have any clicks, we have no clanks, we have no cranks. I mean, you can hear if my feet stop squeaking. Kind of. All right, whatever. You can't really hear it because my foot keeps squeaking against the pedal. Uh, the, the micro switches are clicking. Whether or not they're actually doing anything, that's uh, to be determined. So I know this is a big question that I get is how do you diagnose a cart that doesn't do anything when you step on the pedal. So we're going to kind of go through this one basically from start to finish in my order of operations for diagnosing a crank no start. Oh, also, let's see. Let's see, the other thing is lights. So you can see we have a blinking light there. We have no horn. Now, I don't know if there's a horn or not installed on this thing. As soon as I turn the lights on, see how that light stopped blinking? I turn the lights off. And I start, oh, it's kind of hit and miss, but we have no blinky blinks. And when I turn the headlights on, I turn that four way off, we have no lights here at all. Yeah, I see no tail lights either. Let's get this on the ramps and see what we can figure out what's going on with it. One thing I like to do to give myself better access is I like to remove the air hose off the intake. Oh because the, it just makes it easier to get into the control box here. So I just remove it off of the carb and off of the, uh, ooh, strong gas smell. Yeah, burnt gas smell. So first thing I wanna do, now you could do this with just a regular voltmeter. Uh, take your multimeter. And what we want to do is check battery voltage first and foremost you don't want to try to diagnose electrical issues if you don't have a good battery so set it to dc volts we're going to go positive i have a backwards but it doesn't matter so we have 9.81 volts that is probably one of our reasons why this thing doesn't want to start and i noticed the battery's not even in properly um first thing that this is an old battery. I can make that much. Now I just need to my finger. All right. So what I'm just doing is trying to get it to sit a little better in here. Um, it's our electrical for our lights. These look tight. I can tell by how squashed they are. Uh, just for poop and laughter now, what we'll do is I'll take this battery tester. I just want to see if it's going to give me any sort of reading. So we have a 525 cold cranking amps battery. It's a group 70. Not sure what the year is on it though, cause it's, it's not show, it's not listed here that I can see. It's an, oh, look at that. Never mind. We're not even going to be able to do this test because the meter won't even turn on. So I'm willing to bet that we have a bad battery. What I'm going to try to do though, just for the sake of argument here, to see if anything else happens is I'm going to hook the charger up to this. My Schumacher roll around manual battery charger. Uh, so what I'll do in the meantime is I just want to see if we can get lights to turn on and to see if we can get the solenoid to even click. Right now that is the primary goal. Because uh, if nothing else happens even after doing this, then we know we have a little bit more serious issue. Alright, so it's reading about 14 volts, 2 amps. So that's a good sign. I'm going to... Okay, now I don't know if you can hear that. That's a pretty defined click coming from the four ways. And as I walk around the cart, the front turn signals are blinking. And coming around the back, the rear turn signals are blinking. So we know that's good. We try to horn. We have a horn. Let me try to headlights. We have headlights. And we have taillights. 
Let's see if we have brake lights. This cart does have a brake pedal. We have brake lights. Now let me turn the four ways on. I'm just doing this to make sure there's no open grounds anywhere. Okay, so lights, horn, they're all good. So I think I think it's pretty safe to say that we've determined that we have a bad battery. Uh, what I'm going to do next is let me see if this engine will actually crank over. So we're going to flip this into service mode in neutral. Okay. So I don't want to burn a starter generator out and I don't want to hurt my, my charger. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this battery charge for, I don't know, I'm going to give it an hour and see what happens. Uh, if it doesn't recover and come back, then we know the battery's junk and we'll have to get a battery for it. And that's probably going to fix our, our problem here. This might actually be a very uneventful video after all. All right, so it's been a little over an hour. I'd say about an hour and 10 minutes since we put this thing on charge. Let's, uh, let's shut the charger off. It's already dropped down to under 11 volts. I don't think, uh, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh yeah. So yeah, you can hear it's groaning. Um, I think it's safe to say that this battery is toast. Uh, so we'll have to let the customer know. We'll put a battery in it and then we'll see what will happen from that point forward. But I don't really think there's any other issues. Put this stuff back together. There's really no point to leaving it open since we know that we can or we know that the battery is toast so and the engine cranked over slightly kind of cranked over it just groaned a little bit so we'll just uh we'll just put this back together <clears throat> there we go Straighten this out a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay, so I don't know if we're going to be doing anything else to the cart. I want to get the cart to run first, and then we'll probably end up talking to the customer after it's running, see if they want to do like filters and oil change and all that stuff. But uh, all right, so this one will be continued. All right, so I just spoke with the customer. There, they gave me the go ahead to change out the battery. Uh, I guess in the meantime, we'll just pull this battery out. We should need a nine sixteenths. Yep. We'll clean these battery <coughs> battery terminals before we or cables rather when we get the new battery for it i think i'm going to change these oh i hate these things i'm going to change these uh ring terminals as well they're not large enough and i can't get them off of the see they get bound up i hate these things they really do so what I'll end up doing is just to make this job a little bit easier with, there we go, now we got it loose. Uh, I, normally you could drill them out, but there's, it's such thin steel, I'd rather, thin metal rather, I would just rather change them out for the proper sized ones. But these are still good, these things hardly ever fail. But uh, alright, so we'll get a battery for it and then we'll also clean up this mess in here. So what I like to do, I mean, I'll, I'll vacuum that out, but I like to get this dirt out of here. A lot of times this will fill up with crud. Yeah, maybe I'll just blow it out with the blower. And then the battery won't sit in there properly. But the bracket that's on that side is already loose, so I'm not too worried about that. Milwaukee blower to the rescue. We're going to go on the low speed here. We don't need the mega wind. We'll get another battery for it and we'll pick the video up at that point. We've got the battery for the cart. This should just drop right in. We should be good to go. Pickles. I think I'll do that right now first. I'll clean those cable ends first. You can always tell it's a day before a weekend or a Friday because everybody, everybody calls. Where's my golf cart? Well.
that one. Peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, phone's ringing again. Can somebody please explain to me why when somebody doesn't answer the phone, you call 10 more times. And it's like right now I'm kind of in the middle of working on a cart here. I can't stop. and I want to continue until I'm done. I'm not going to answer it until I'm done. Don't get me wrong, guys. I don't want to discourage customers from calling to have their cart worked on, but for flip's sake, leave a voicemail. I'll call you back. I call everybody back. As long as you're a local customer, I'll call you back. But this blowing my phone up thing is not going to change it. Okay. I'll put our negative or positive cable on. And I'm, I'm not trying to sound like a dick or anything, but for flip's sake, man. Okay, one more. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on. Gotta be the, like the, one of the rudest things that you could do is blow somebody's phone up because they're not answering. There we go. Okay, shove these down in here. And then people will call all the time, where's my golf cart? My golf cart done? You've only had it for a day. Where's my golf cart? Not bitching, I'm just saying. Let's get this tightened down now. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I just realized that the camera shut off. Let's see. Oh, is it neutral? Yeah. Let's, uh, for poop and laughter here, let's check our... I probably should have did this before I sprayed it, but... Well, I did actually do this before I sprayed it, but unfortunately... God, that stuff stinks. I don't know why the... I'm not going to test the battery because I know it's brand new. Turn off load, start engine. Okay. It's good to go. Right on. Okay, so that gonna do it for this one all right guys there you have it that is a battery replacement on a 2007 whatever the hell club car ds pretty much the same across all club cars mostly more or less except for the older ones where the air box sits on top of the battery so all right guys i just want to take this time as always at the end of every video to thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it questions comments leave them down in the comment section below be sure to check the video's description for links to products i use to bring you these videos and also take you over to my Amazon page where I have links to other products. Uh, not everything I use is in that page, but you know, if you use that link, it will be an affiliate link and I do earn a small commission off 
of whatever you purchase, though it doesn't cost you anything extra. But it does help support the channel indirectly, which is a great thing. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.